Yo, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shalom, Bashem, Rakaqa Dash. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. <laughs> uh, double honors to the apostles, a great millstone. Shalom out to you, Aki. Hey, look at you. We got another parade out here, or a protest. I don't know they pro. I really don't know what it is. We just seen it. Natural call for moral revival. Moral revival? Yeah, I don't got no moral. They say make the system fall. Are they communists this time, or is it maybe Christians? Hey, we get to my camera real quick. I'm gonna get my garment on so I can make it official. Same people with the poor shit, poor people shit. Is it? Yeah. Natural cost for more. Uh... Oh, Get a Bible ready. Be cool. We will make the system. You gonna make the system fall? What you gonna replace it with? We will make the system fall. Y'all communists, right? You're communists, right? Y'all set up by the communists, right? The Lord gonna destroy y'all. The Lord is not with you. Let me ask you a question, bro. What you gonna replace the system with? What you gonna replace it with? Somebody answer my question. Answer my question. What you gonna replace it with? Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Y'all scared to talk to me? You're a coward. You're a faggot. You a big coward. That's why you walking away. That's why you walking away, you big bitch. Right here. Can I ask you a question, ma'am? What are you gonna replace the system with? There's a short, give me the short version. Are y'all communist, socialist? I, I would not put labels on this like that. No what we are trying to do is make the system fair for everyone. Because you've got people who have 87% You're right, you're right. You know what we're going to do? They're going into slavery. The Bible says, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. That's what I'm afraid of. They're going into slavery. All, all the so-called white people are going into slavery. That's what's going to happen. America's going to be destroyed by God, by fire. And all them faggots going to be destroyed too. See, so yeah, they got no solutions. I asked them what they gonna replace the system with, they give me no answer. No answers, y'all got no answers. They, they, you know those are communists, right? Y'all communists. Well, you a homosexual, homosexual pastor? In the Bible. Look, look at, he with a Greek fraternity, bro. He, 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 a man of God. He, he wear a fraternity hat, he done sold out. You know, he probably done got fucked in his asshole to be part of that fraternity. So that's all, that's all thanks, all set up by the fake Jews and the communists, bro. They're a bunch of weaklings and a bunch of faggots. Three weeks in a row we done caught him. Goddamn communists, bro. That's what they are. And they don't even know it either. Hey, we hold this for a minute. Let me get this tripod set up. Is that still going? Yeah. Does this say record? Yeah. Oh, nigga. Oh. We got the Quran. You know them votes don't count. They don't count y'all's votes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he getting seven. paid. He getting paid. Oh, yeah, he getting paid. Just, just I feel you there. I'm you with that. I'm and with that. I mean, look, like two days ago, I got a check for uh, $690 for two days' work. Hey, Damn. Man, you can't beat cool. that. You got to sign me a check. I just did three <laughs> days and made... Uh, $1,200. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. So, that's yeah. money. You got, you got to eat, you know? Yeah. I say the hell with this country, though. Because, you know, like... And considering all the different things that I could do for money, they pay me way less than what I'm... Yep. You know, I'd rather be doing this than another job to get paid by. Now, I just got done working at a hotel uh, with 
going to make this work. Yeah. Like, when I first started, I told my head, let me take experience with the modern stuff. I did make, make this a long time ago before I came up with all this uh, electronic computer like, uh, boxes and stuff, you know? So I didn't know how to do new stuff. They told me it was going to change. It ain't change. You ain't going to turn around and get mad because I don't know how to do this stuff. But all they do is take some time to train them. All the stuff they do, train me to do, I learned how to do it. No problem. But they turn around and uh, just try to work with them. Yeah. You know, when you're being paid by the hour, they can work there as hard as they want. They ain't going to need any compensation for that extra effort you put in there. Oh, you know yeah. Is it that, you're a sucker if you work hard. Yeah, exactly. Really? So at any rate. They take advantage uh, of it. Right. So at any rate, uh, not only have to do my work, I got to do somebody else's work. And anytime they want, uh, anybody want to take a day off, I got a substitute for them. And they ask me, do you want a substitute for them? And I say, no. And they say, well, don't you want to negotiate and work it out? No. And then they make me do it anyway. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here working my butt off, and then they turn around and fire me because I didn't show up at work. Like, it wasn't on me to show up. Why didn't you get mad and fire the person that asked for the day off? You know what I'm saying? How you gonna fire me for not showing up for their shit? You know? Yeah, what we're doing with Satan. Yeah, yeah, that, that's it, Satan. Excuse me, are you ready? Uh, Actually, we got work. Three weeks in a row. We done got them like four times already. They really trying to push that little socialist revolution out here. See, they want to, uh, I mean, capitalism ain't no good either. But they want to take capitalism and replace it with socialism or communism. Which means they're going to starve everybody to death. And they definitely, you know, according to communism, what they going to do? Burn all the Bibles. You know what I'm saying? That's what they was doing over there in the USSR. What do you think they're doing over there in China? China's a communist nation, bro. You get caught with a Bible, that'll kill you. And hey, we just got them protesters again. They want to the package. Uh, I got two. And uh, started on. Uh, one and six. It says, or five. It says, now, therefore, thus said to our host, consider your ways. You have so much and bring in little. You eat and you have not enough. Yeah. Like, like, you know, it's like, you work hard. You work hard. All these hours. You don't need to get paid for like 12, 10, 8, hours, hours, fucking hours. They take most people, they take like over $20,000 out in taxes. For some crap, I mean, 20% out in taxes, even more than that. You know? Yeah, question. What's up? You was telling me that, I mean, saying that some people, how you doing? Some people is communist. Yeah, we know that for a fact. Okay, but like, communism is not necessarily bad anymore than capitalism is good. Well, capitalism ain't seen, good. It's I all have seen all kinds of nasty stuff done in the name of capitalism. Right, and of course. Communism, the basic rule is that you have a communal lifestyle where everybody shares everything versus people being greedy and just trying to only control everything. So no to the that. two systems, I would think that communism would be a better system, especially here in the United States. You got more poor people than you got rich people in this country. Right. You know what I'm saying? So how do rich people prison. run the country if it's supposed to be a democracy? Why is it that rich people that only make up one percent of the whole country? Why are they running everything? I'll explain it to you though. The communism thing though See, it sounds good when they teach it, when they speak it, but the whole communist thing was set up by them fake Jews, right? And, you know, com uh, China's a communist, communist nation. You know, if you build a church, they burn it into the ground. They came through with bulldozers, uh, tearing down churches. If you get caught with a Bible, you're going to get locked up. During the USSR, they was uh, getting rid of all religion. But see, we got religions here in the United States that ain't necessarily good. You have a whole bunch of Christians that are Ku Klux Klan. Right, of course. Christians that are Nazis, okay? So anybody could be a Christian. If they claim to be a Christian, don't necessarily no, mean it, that you're a good person. You can still be a rotten person and still be a so-called Christian. Lou ain't doing religion anyway. Nah. You know, that's a man made comment. So you got a brother in there that looked like he was a twin or something. Uh, Did he do that too, the vote thing? Well, yeah, he do it. Okay, we talked to him. Yeah, but 
probably seen me and just seen me without the class. Okay, but my brother ain't done. He's in Chicago. Oh, for real? That's probably what it was. I'm talking to you. Why you live there now? The thrift store up in 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 the thrift and many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go into the mountain of Yahweh to the house of God of Jacob. He will teach us of his ways. And he will walk in his path. For out of Zion shall go forth the law. So that's the law. You know what I'm saying? The law is going to be the Bible. When we get in the kingdom, this is going to be the law. This is going to be the government. Go ahead. And the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem shall come forth in the mountain of Yahweh to the house of God of Jacob. Go ahead. And the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem he shall judge them among the nations. We shall, shall judge among the nations. So that, that's who the government is the judge. That's Israel. Go ahead. We're gonna rebuke many people. Like all the like the Bible says, he that leaving in captivity shall go into captivity. Mm -hmm. So all these devils that they protesting against the one percenters, they all going into slavery. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. They shall beat their swords into plowshares. What's up? Y'all yeah. better stay cool. I know that. Yep, so. What's up, school? Hey, hey, the hey, kids to stay on fire, bro. Boy, this is hot. This is hot. I feel good out here to me. The spirit is appointed her to nations shall not lift up the sword against nations. All right, in the kingdom, there ain't going to be no more war, you know? And it shall go to war and war, O house of Jacob, come here and let us walk in the light of your house. Yeah, so that's going to be the, the you're going to walk in the light of your house, which is the name of the most high. Oh, okay. So the hell with some communism and all that, you know? Yeah. That's just all some bullshit. Yeah. But you know what, see, some people say that in order for you to win a battle, Sometimes it's better to make alliances with people that you have more things in common with. And then you have to decide which of the Second two time. that you are dealing with are the lesser of the two evils, okay? So if communism is better than capitalism, your better bet would be to make an alliance with the communist so that you can defeat a common adversary. What's that, that one? That, is that good line 18 that said make no alliances with the heathen you got a country to go to? Wait, we'd be breaking the laws of the Lord if we did that. See, the unfortunate thing is there's power in numbers. See, you see Trump There is not power in numbers. There is. No, there's not. Okay, see, that's how come, like, we were able to overcome, like, most of these other nations because we have more weapons, so our number of weapons is a numbers thing, too. America's actually the smallest in number of all the other nations. No, I'm talking about, what, 300 million I'm talking about the weapons they got. Right, seriously. The, the, the China, China got like what four billion people? America got three hundred million. Yeah. Back in day, America like, running shit. Back in the yeah. day, like well, in eighteen hundred shit, they had like better we, weapons, but right now that's not the case. Yeah. So that's when they was ruling, you know, like a lot. Like right, better. But we got yeah, so like, many weapons like, all around the world. We got the capability of blowing up the planet so many hundreds of times. Yeah. And you only got to blow it up one time. Well, you know, so that's a major but America to everybody. But this is weird though, because I was just reading a book of uh, not a book, but uh, about Elijah the prophet and one of the kings, I think his name Ahab, he went and made an alliance with yep. one of the uh, eagles or whatever. And the Lord said, today, tonight, truly, you're going to die. Something like that. Yep. Because you ain't supposed to make covenant with uh, the eagles and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because the Bible specifically actually says the strength does not come in numbers. Right. Deuteronomy 17 and 15. Thou shalt in any wise set him over king over the Which chapter is 14. That? This is Deuteronomy 17 and 14. 17. This is the when thou art come unto the land which the Lord thy power giveth thee, and shall possess it, and shall dwell therein, and shall say, I will set a king over thee, like as all the nations that are about thee, thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy power shall choose. One from among thy brethren shall thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. Yeah, so them all these other, there's a stranger. Okay, well listen, I gotta get back to my Heathens, man. Okay, so all right, bro. Heathens, man. Go get them signed up. Signed up for the missiles. Oh, yeah, so this is a scripture right here that proves that somebody's not coming in the name of the Lord like us. We're not supposed to deal with them. Go ahead. 2 John 2 15. Love not the world. Oh, here you go. These are the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Yes, the scripture said the hell with this world. That means the world talking about the people. We ain't supposed to love these people. All right, go ahead. 
do what you gotta do. We gonna we gonna keep doing what we do. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world. So like that's the thing. Yeah, go ahead. But during the, uh, the Philippine American War, they uh, pretty much made an agreement with uh, America and shit, and America started sending uh, like 500 students, and that's the teachers over there, teaching their ways and shit. Then they, then they got they got the same government as America, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's when, that's when uh, Philippines people started falling and shit. That's why you ain't supposed to make a... Uh, they made whores out of all their women. They got the military bases there and prostitutes all their women. Two, two years. Two years, you're going to be a man. Two years. Twelve years old, you become a man. Don't let mama tell you no different. Go ahead. It says... Uh, it looked like she pulled us away from some gangbangers or something. She's like, get your ass over here. It, the spirit was a hit bro. It's like, what y'all talking about? Go ahead. And the world passes away, and the lust of he that doeth the will of God abides forever. So whoever do the will of the Most High abides forever. So if you're not doing the will of the Most High, obviously you're going to be destroyed. Hey, you got that second John 10? That's really, that's not really, that's good. Yeah. Second John, one and ten. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine. So if there be come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, what we teach you, go ahead. Receive him not into your house. Receive him not into your house. Go ahead. Neither bid him God speak. Neither bid him God speak. Don't be like, oh, peace be you, brother. God speak. You have a good day. Yeah, yeah go ahead. For he that bid him from God speak is partaking of his evil deeds. Right, so he says strength come in numbers. Sometimes you gotta uh, you gotta make a partnership with a lesser of the two evils. Bro, that's a, that's madness. That's the world's thing. Yeah, that's the world's thing. That's the picking of the world. Think of a thought of a heathen and two thirds. What's the scripture saying? Broad is the way to lead it to the spot. Yeah. Many there be that problem. What's that? Is that something that's not a lot of that? Is that something that's not a lot of that? Let me read that real quick. Because he said strength comes in numbers. Every time I'm being impressed by that large number system, that delivery company, that great multitude was coming. Yep, that's the only great But right now, we small in numbers, brothers teaching, you know. But that's the we got more strength than all, all these fools out here. See that? Yeah, that's the saying that strength only comes in numbers. That's the thought of a man that has no faith. You know, don't believe in the Most High. He believes in man and the power of man. Now, with the power of the Most High, said we. We can do anything. Look, Jude of 9 and 11. For thy power standeth not in multitude, nor thy might in strong men. For thou art a God of the afflicted, a helper of the oppressed, an upholder of the weak, a protector of the forlorn, a savior of them that are without hope. So no, strength does not come in them. Strength comes in the power of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Rakakadah. Okay, that's the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. What? Fools out here, bro. Try to hear that bullshit. That shit is irksome. What's that scripture? Ecclesiastes, uh, the discourse of fools is irksome. Judges 7 and 7. I was saying to Gideon. By the, uh, by the 300 men that lap will I save you and deliver the men that into thy hands and let all the people, other people go. And let the other people go every man unto his place. So the people took their strings in their hands and their trumpets and sent all the rest of the Israel, every man into his tent and restrained those 300 men and the host of Midian was beneath them in the valley. 300. Oh, that's the original 300 right there. That's the point I wanted to make. Shit, it's like when the time of, uh, Jesus came, that's what 
Every time they went out with the gifts of Philistines, they was always out there. Okay, well, King David went out by himself one day to get all the foreskins. Ran Saul made get the foreskins. Saul had a sinister plan. Yeah, he did. And David went and killed all them fools by himself. Uh, it's going. Uh, Judges 7 and 1. It says, Then Jerobel, who is Gideon, all the people that were with him rose up early and pitched beside the hill of Marad, so that the host of the Midianites were on the north side of him by the hill of Mared in the valley. And Yahweh said to Gideon, The people that are with thee, the people that are with thee are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hands. There is your East Israel wants themselves to give them to one son with me to be proud and close. Oh, you see here. Oh, this great number of people he did. He took over these motherfuckers. Yeah. But when it's like two people against a thousand, what you gonna say? Oh, that was probably just gonna shut up the alley probably. What about Samson? How many of you feel with that? That uh, jawbone of an ass? Thousand? He killed a thousand people with a, with a jawbone, bro. Yeah, he's a part of heat. Your boy, uh, the other dude. They were, uh, they were acting all scared, like, hey, shit, what you doing, uh, Samson, like, they trying to do this thing, what you doing? Yes, I'm, I'm going to bounce you, take it, uh, give you up. And that's all they had, only, only thing they needed was faith. And you know, I was going to shout with deliverance, but they was, uh, unfaithful. They didn't understand being the traitor, deliverance. When you lose your faith, you lose your power. Yeah. He's fascinated by the war. Oh, yeah? Oh, there's a big one coming, boy. Yeah. Hey, I'm fascinated by that shit too. Well, I'm telling you, brother, this is the baddest warrior in history. Hey, who's the greatest warrior in history? Come on over here and talk to us. So tell me who the greatest warrior was in the history of mankind on the battlefield. Well, worldly, thinking of the history books. Who do you think? Uh, Jesus. Read the scriptures, man. I'll tell you. King David. King David was an Israelite. He killed tens of thousands by himself. Tens of thousands. Mighty men, man. Mighty men. They were literally superhuman. Superhuman. You can't. Man, they think so hyped up about Michael Jordan. His one point one and a half second hand line. Oh, yeah. 47 inch vertical. Right, right. Right, but King David was leaving a wall. You know, 40 feet up. 40 feet up. Check this out. Psalms 18 and uh, 30, 34, this is King David speaking. It says, he teaches my hands to war. The Most High teaches our hands to war. That's where we get our power from. So that a bow of steel is broken by my arms. A bow of steel? Break a bow of steel. Today, he could take a shotgun and snap it. Negro these days have problems breaking pencils, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Literally, they do, man. You know, they ain't gonna get a switch. They get an ass whooping, they getting punished by a switch, a switch, man. A switch. Thou hast also given me the shield of, my, of thy salvation, and thy right hand hath holding me up, and thy gentleness made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, and my feet did not slip. I pursued my enemies and overtook them, neither did I turn again to they were consumed. Uh, uh, King David, good night. Good night. Well, here goes this one. It's 1 Samuel 18 and 7. And the woman answered one another as they played and say, Well, you know, they singing songs about David. David's like, Saul had slain his thousands 
and David, his tens of thousands. So uh, King Saul was a bad dude. And, you know, King Saul, in scripture say he was taller. And you know, he was stronger than all the other Israelites. But he killed, and that's, a, that's, that's an amazing feat. One man killed thousands. But King David killed tens of thousands. Now how much is tens of thousands? That's anywhere from what? 10,000? They said tens of thousands. 100,000. No more. He could, he, I mean, he wasn't count. He lost count, you know? You can't keep count when you're just killing and killing and killing. It, it was worse than that uh, video game, uh, Dynasty Warriors. King David did that in real life, bro. Oh, they, but they so amazed by like, who's saying both that side of my and he do that motherfucker can't run. That motherfucker fast. That, that motherfucker is literally slow as fuck compared to the body man back in the day. This thing back in the ancient world, we was running all day, nonstop. You know, that's right. Well, that's, that's, that's where I'm at. We are running. I think from, that's where I'm at. Did you read that? Oh, okay. We are running from Jerusalem to Syria, bro. Okay. 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 Second Samuel, uh, 22 and 30, 49. For thou art my land, O oh Lord. And the Lord will lighten my darkness, for by thee I have run through a truth. By my power have I leaped over a wall. And that's a wall. I mean, the ancient world is tall. A lot of them was like 50 feet tall or higher. I think the wall in Troy was like maybe 100 feet. It was super tall. So the walls was to keep the enemies out. The walls were so high they had to build siege engines. They had, you can see them big towers in the movies like, uh, what's the movie like? Y'all watch that Viking show they built in siege towers when they was a uh, lake with siege in Paris. And, uh, oh yeah, Kingdom God. They had giant towers. So they did, but David said he just jumped over it. That's like Spider-Man. Yeah, the book of, uh, I think it's Nehemiah. Each tribe man, had to get so many people up to build that wall, man, around, the, yeah. around Jerusalem, man.